Let's talk Super Bowl, shall we? Incredibly good game, 23 to 20 LA Rams over the Cincinnati Bengals. My team is Cleveland Browns, go Browns. So I know, condolences. But let's talk about what happened before the game. Before the game, the LA County officials, health officials, put out an order, quote, everyone over two years old must wear a mask in all indoor public places and outdoor mega events, whether they have been vaccinated or not, end of quote. And to that end, when you entered the stadium, you were handed not just a face mask, an N95 face mask, so that all of the 78,000 people would be and should be wearing a face mask. How did that work out? Uh, a lot of folks, though, if you watch the game, you notice uh, a lot of people were not wearing those masks, including celebrities and a lot of fans. L.A. County public health officials required everyone two or older to wear face coverings, except when they were eating or drinking at the big game. But a lot of fans decided to go maskless. And all these celebrities were, of course, adhering to the edict, weren't they? However, last night, multiple images were captured of celebrities enjoying the festivities without complying, including Ellen DeGeneres, LeBron James, Kendall Jenner, and few fans were wearing them as well. But the good news is, remember when during the NFC Championship game, the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, was filmed without wearing a face mask? And what did he say? I wore my mask the entire game. And I, when people ask for a photograph, I hold my breath and I put it here and people could see that. There's a 0% chance of infection from that. So the good news is 78,000 people were collectively holding their breath through the entire game, including halftime. Stunning. Let's pause here for a second. Are mm -hmm. you sick and tired of YouTube? I know I am. It censors factual information from you. The content it promotes doesn't help our culture, and it punishes those who dare speak the truth, like this channel. That's why starting today, we'll be posting our content exclusively on Epic TV, a video platform from the Epic Times, where you're guaranteed to get real news, fresh and high quality content, and wholesome movies that are perfect for the whole family. All of these for only $1 a month if you sign up today. So click the link below to get this limited offer, and I promise you it's gonna be the best $1 you'll ever spend. Can't wait to see you on Epic TV. Just click the link below and watch it on Epic TV. Now, before the game, there was an incredible, incredible rendition of the national anthem sung by a country western singer I'd never heard of. Now, her name is Mickey Guyton. She is a black country western star. And after that thrilling performance, she said this, and I'm quoting, It's Black History Month, and a black country singer gets to sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Wow! This is a huge moment for me. It's a huge moment for black people, and I want to represent that in the best possible way I can, close quote. A huge moment for her, to be sure. A huge moment for black people? Now, I'm watching the thing at home, and I'm enjoying the rendition. It never occurred to me to say, wow, what a huge moment for black people. Because, as far as I can remember, a lot of black people have sung the national anthem. And since 2002, the Super Bowl has been, in February, Black History Month. Some of those who have sung the national anthem who are black include Diana Ross, 1982. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's... The trumpeter Wynton Marsalis, 1986. <laughs> Aaron Neville, 1990. Yeah, the twilight, Someone named Whitney Houston, 1991. Who's brought stripes? Luther Vandross, 1997. The the Mariah Carey, 2002, during Black History Month.
Beyonce 2004 during Black History Month. Aaron Neville and Aretha Franklin, 2006, during Black History Month. Jordan Sparks, 2008, during Black History Month. Jennifer Hudson, 2009, during Black History Month. Alicia Keys, 2013, Black History Month. Gladys Knight, Sans Pips, 2019. And last year, 2021, Jasmine Sullivan with Eric Church during Black History Month. So apart from that, it was a huge moment for black people. Missed it by that much. Now, didn't Skip Bayless, however, as we're enjoying the NFL Super Bowl, tell us that the NFL was, was racist? After all, they're down to just one black head coach. Hope you enjoyed that short video. Now to watch the full video, just click on the link below and watch it on Epic TV. It only costs $1 a month to sign up and you'll get unlimited access to all the great exclusive content on the platform. Now, as you know, this show is now exclusively on Epic TV. So by signing up for just $1 a month, you're supporting me and my team to keep it going. I promise you, you'll not be disappointed. Thank you and God bless. I'll see you on Epic TV.